Here's another example of a constant growth model. And let's cover that as well. JP's stock is currently selling for $30. Next year's dividend is expected to be $3 and the required return is 12%. What is this firm's dividend growth rate assuming the constant dividend growth model is appropriate? So we are asked to find the growth rate in this case. So in the solution, the first thing that you want to do is to identify what the kind of question that it is. And the, we say that it is a constant dividend growth model kind of question. And you will use this formula for the formula for the constant growth model that we use in the previous examples. And you will identify each item in the formula. So we need P0 or the price, the current price, and then we'll need the dividend next year. The rate of return and the growth rate but we don't have the growth rate in this case because the question is asking you to find the growth rate so the current price as mentioned here is 30 dollars so p0 will be 30 and then next year's dividend which is d1 is expected to be three dollars so d1 will be three dollars and then r is the rate of return the required return as mentioned in the question is 12 percent so r will be 0 0.12 as a decimal because we'll be using it as a decimal in our equation and we do not have g so g in this case is what we are asked to find therefore when we plug in the numbers into the equation 30 which is the po po 30 is equals to d1 and d1 we said d1 is three dollars so three divide by r is the rate of return which is 0 0.12 or 0 0.12 minus g so we divide 3 by 0 0.112 minus g just the same thing as the equation that we have for um for our constant growth model and then we just do cross multiplication and you will find that um after cross multiplying it will be 3.6 minus 30 g is equals to 3 and therefore the growth rate g that we're looking for is equals to 0 0.02 or 2 percent so i hope that's clear for this question is pretty direct uh, the same as the previous ones that we, we did so if you haven't checked the other examples that i did earlier i highly recommend that you check those out because it makes you um understand these concepts better and next thing that we'll be doing is the non-constant dividend model so look out for that as well